Bon dia, New Life Azores and farm fam. I'm saying farm fam because I am at the family farm today. Sean is grabbing a couple of bags of hay for the cows. You can see him coming up the hill here. We only have two cows left. Um, and we kept one and sold one off. Um, so this is actually the first time that we have beef sitting in the freezers in like since we moved here we've sold all the other cows um bulls i should say i'm probably going to be splitting the tomato video up with the potato video um because i have some footage from earlier in the last well the last couple of months the weather has been like very rainy very windy um so what we have a break in the rain at least for now who knows how long it'll last but it looks like at least within the next 10 days, it's gonna be sunny, um, which is awesome because we've been really craving the nice weather. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of recording today and then I will be there for you guys with the potatoes. So even though the weather's been bad, Sean's been out here working. I don't, I don't wanna say bad, it's been just not ideal <laughs> for me at least. <laughs> yeah, but he's been over here at the banana trees cutting all this hedge. He's done a really good job letting all that sunshine in for the bananas. Let's go. Today we are over here um, really just seeing if any bananas are ready to go. So this, this all right here is actually kelp um, seaweed for nutrition. They're letting it dry out right there. Um, but yeah, let's go through. We, it's been a while since we've been in here, you guys. And if I don't break my leg getting through here, you know, it's like a jungle. Welcome to the jungle. It's so beautiful in here. As I say, every single time I'm in here, it's one of my favorite places. Check out the inside of a banana tree. So cool. Over winter, at one point in time, they were wrapping in plastic and this net here to keep the bananas warm. But now that it's starting to warm up a little bit, it's just the net. It helps keep the slugs off. Because we, you know, we were having a slug problem. And we're trying to grow as many, what do they call them, super bananas? Yeah, we want to be in the super classification of the bananas. You get the most amount of money for those ones. And the biggest recognition, huh, babe? <laughs> he said, I don't know if you guys can hear him from there, but he said, well, for me, it's I just want to do the best. Yeah, Sean takes a lot of pride. Well, we both do, but Sean takes a lot of pride in his work. I don't think there's any other way to do it, really. He's been out here with the wood chippers, so you see all this fresh on the ground. That's... Huh? Yeah, it wasn't just him. Um, Mar uh, our brother-in-law was over here with him. Busy little beavers, wood chipping all this hedge. I sound a little bit stuffy because I am like, I should be the lady in the bubble, honestly, because my allergies are always so bad. Thank you, Rose, for bringing some allergy medicine from the United States because it's either too strong or too weak out here. The strong stuff puts me to sleep and I, I'm not okay with sleeping all day and all night. <laughs> we got our little support situation happening here. But yeah, I mean, really we're just in here today. I'm kind of following Sean around because he's checking all of the banana bunches. There's a lot, actually. There is a lot of bunches. No, if you look around, there's a lot that are just coming out. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, that's good. There's a lot that are super close, but I don't think there's going to be a whole lot. Not to take, but, yeah, not to take on Monday, but. Yeah, N maybe next Monday, not this Monday. Monday's the banana day. And again, like I was saying, we're going to be getting 
Um, the tomatoes in the ground this week, 10 days of mostly sun showing up in the forecast here. Yeah, 10 days of not rain, I should say. <laughs> and, um, and then we're gonna be getting hopefully the potatoes in the ground as well. I think a lot of farmers are putting their potatoes in later than earlier this year. A lot of farming actually is happening later than earlier this year. But yeah, I feel like a little um, lost duckling following Sean here. And Sean going around and checking everything. He knows where, where the groups of bananas are. And we hope to plant at some point in time this year, a hundred new banana trees. That's our goal. There's a hundred new banana trees. Okay, let me see. He said, look how big this one is. Whoa, that is a big one. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're popping out everywhere. That is huge. Let me just show you guys my hand for size. That's a huge flower. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but um, we want to try to plant some of the taller banana trees because there's the short ones and there's the tall ones. We want to plant the taller ones because they produce larger bundles of bananas. Huh? It's easier to deal with too. Why? Because they, they tend to push the banana bunch out further from the tree. Oh, okay. Really? Yeah, you would think because you had to get a ladder that it would be harder. He was saying that the tall bushes or the tall banana trees tend to push the bundle of bananas further out they from the tree so it's easier to wrap and they have like a longer stem and they have longer bananas yeah longer and bigger bananas which means more money in the long run really i don't know is there a difference in flavor some people say this the small ones are the sweet ones yeah, they all taste like banana to us. <laughs> we we don't notice the difference, honestly. Well, I, I don't eat banana, but because I'm allergic, it's not that I'm like, I don't like it. I love banana, but I just can't eat it. Yeah, he's saying he, he is not the right person to ask. He said he likes his bananas green on the edges. <laughs> it's hard to hear him from here. Um... I did try, my, my friend Jason uh, gave me microphones to use and I need to get the adapter for my phone or my camera, whichever one will work with them. So I need to order an adapter online. But yeah, I can't, I'm excited to use that. It'd be really nice to have it in the field while we're doing the potatoes, but that's it, that wraps it up. So you can see all of the farmers are trimming their hedge haven't got to it yet, but you could definitely see that it's been done fairly recently with this one. So before we head up to see the cows, we are gonna go check on the few tomato, ooh, Ortigas, um, a few of the tomato plants that Sean planted up here. He's gonna do some pruning. I have to be careful. I'm wearing capris. Ah! I got her tigged. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. This will be fun. Ah! You guys, that stuff stings. Hold on a second. Oh. Honestly, this is my fault for wearing capris. There we go. <laughs> uh, my. Oh wow, it it did. Do you guys remember one of our like last videos? This stuff was knee high. Now it's above my chest in some sp spots. So Sean's just over here doing a little pruning. And I sound like I'm out of breath because my allergies are taking over. <laughs> Whew. It's up to you if you, I mean, it is kind of a small plant. 
And again, you guys might not be able to hear him from there, but he's saying, should I leave the flowers? No, I'll take them off this time, but not next time. <laughs> Look how good the hay is protecting them from all these weeds. Genius idea, babe. Yeah. I gotta come in here with a weed eater. <laughs> you think? He said, I have to come in here with a weed eater. What weed eater? <laughs> yeah, I think so. In some spots, they the that one, that group right there is definitely taller than me. That group of weeds. It's amazing. I mean, all of this is like cow manure fertilization too. So it's, you know, not a surprise that it grew this quickly, especially with all the rain. <clears throat> but, but yeah, it's a, it's a little overgrown, let's just say. I'm going to go old school style. On these. But yeah, he's pretty much just going to trim up the rest of these. Forward. Oh, there you go. Yeah. That's what I'm going to try to see how that works. Yeah, he said he's gonna plop them over. I know you guys can't hear us very him him very well at that distance plus the wind, but he said he's gonna go old school style and just plop it over. <clears throat> Hopefully it won't catch wind one day and then just flop right back over. <sighs> Might have to like pin it to the wall or something like that. But yeah, like I was saying, he's pretty much just going to go through these, trim them up, and then we're going to go feed and water the cows, the bulls. <laughs> so these are the lonely two cows right here. And the other one's laying in the grass. Sean said this day in the life. He's, he's laying up by the truck. Mm -hmm. right? he always does. Um, there is a dead rat your discretion advised <laughs> yeah um yeah it's huge um definitely bigger than my foot that rat right there yuck oh yeah it does stink i can smell it up here the rat we're talking about the rat Whew. upwind smell let's go say hi to number 10 hey yo your horns are huge your horns are huge. This is the sweetheart right here. This is the sweetheart of all the cows that we have. <laughs> Number 11 <laughs> probably won't even come over with me there, so I'm gonna move. <clears throat> oh, this wind. Look at, he's a good looking cow though. Good looking bull, I should say. Look at that chest. He's honestly still around because he got sick at one point in time. And he had to get medicine. And he got, he, he ended up being a little bit smaller than the other bulls. So they went for harvest first. And we're trying to hang on to number 10 as long as possible because he is our favorite sweet cow with a easygoing temper. Sweet bull, I should say. But that's a nice looking bull right there. All right, well, I'm going to make my way back. Thanks for joining us with today's adventures. Today is the 19th of April. So Sean's up there giving them water and he's like, protect the gate just in case they get froggy and want to escape. And I'm like, I don't think they will, but I think he meant because he's taking the truck up there and he don't want them getting nervous and then start running for it. But often my job consists of being the gate 
person and making sure that they don't escapee. Not a lot going on, but there will be some stuff coming up here. And I don't like making empty promises to you guys. So everything kind of just depends on the weather, which it was sunny, but now look at what we're I'm seeing over here. But then you come over this way and it's Take a look at some of these other cows down here. These are bulls. These are boys. Ooh. Oh, we haven't done daily views, so let's let's get some daily views, you guys. I'm down a little bit lower than usual. So it's not the best daily view, but this is our daily view. <laughs> Sean's daily view, I should say. And we are excited to get back out here every day. I am, and we're gonna be bringing Logan, our son, with us as well. Lots of stuff happening with the farm coming up now that the cafe is almost open and the weather is improving. Definitely see some busy days in our future. Just want to thank you guys for watching, staying tuned. You guys are in it to win it. Seriously, thank you guys. I appreciate your comments. Sorry, it's so windy. I appreciate your comments and you guys staying involved with the channel and active with the channel. We appreciate that. Um, you guys can reach out to me on Facebook under Annie Nova, A-N-N-I-E, N-O-V-A. And if you can, send me a message with your friend request so that I know it's not spam. And I know you're coming from the channel. And I will accept your friend request. And if you want to chat, we could chat a little bit as well. Yeah, right now there is still a small enough party of people um, to where I can stay interactive with you guys. But maybe one day the channel will get big enough that It'll be a little bit harder for me to communicate, stay in tune or stay in touch with you guys. I, I am excited for that day, but at the same time, I'm not because I do like staying involved and, you know, I really enjoy communicating with you guys. My little farm fam. Don't forget to stop by our merchandise shop. We have all kinds of merchandise. We have Azores merch, Traseda merch, and farm fam New Life Azores merch. It will be in the link in the description below. And you'll also see my Facebook link there as well too. Bye for now. Thanks for watching guys.